Hello everyone. In the last video, I shared with you about performing mass balance equation in a distillation column. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to perform mass balance equation in adsorption unit operation. So as you know that in a unit operation of adsorption, there is an adsorption tower which is full of packings. Okay. And this is what we call as adsorbent. So, in this particular column, a gas will in contact in this column, and the gas containing is a wet gas. So this is a wet gas with four percent of it is water. mole in terms of mole okay and then you have a flow rate of the gas coming in in terms of mole per hour and you have 96 percent of dry air consists of everything and then you have the flow out and two also in mole per hour and here, you have some leftover amount of water, which is not being absorbed, okay? And then you have 1 minus x1 dry air, okay? Which is totally not affected. Here, in the absorbent, initially it is dry absorbent. So after 5 hours, the initial value is 3.4 kilogram packing and then in the final value which is after five hours it is 3.54 kilogram so these are the initial information that was given to us on how we're able to solve this so first of all we need to understand the problem now when we start to draw this is actually we move into step two which is we draw the block diagram the flow chart step three we list down all the known information and step four we assign some algebraic uh, letters to unknown um, here to unknown equation here so how many unknowns that we have here we have n1 as unknown and two as unknown x1 as unknown here we have four unknowns and then we have to see that what kind of independent equation that we have here so we have equation such that n1 okay um, here is equals to n2 plus n3 what is actually n3 Entry is the rate of adsorption. Okay. Entry is the rate of adsorption. Mole per hour as well. How much water has been absorbed by the packing. So that is what we call as um, the one equation. Second equation that we can develop is we can develop uh, mole uh, balance for water. So which means that 0.04. N1 is equals to, do you have any in N2? Yes, X1, N2, plus with all the amount that has been absorbed here, this is N3. Okay. What are the equations that we could develop from here? Right, in terms of the dry air itself. So the dry air here is, we have 0.96 N1 equals to y minus x1 multiply with n2 so now we have three equations here but we have four unknowns so four unknowns minus three equation we have plus one which means that this is still under specified 
So we need to get the rate of absorbent calculated here so that only then we'll be able to solve the problem. Okay, so it's supposed to be N1, N2, X1, and actually N3 here. Okay, so once we know N3, right? Once we know N3, then we can just put N3 inside here, then you can solvable equation. Okay, so now let's have a look at how we're able to solve this problem.